this is Adam Ken uh, with Flexi Training from Lizard Wraps Signs and Graphics out of Jackson, New Jersey. Uh, when you get done viewing this, I'd appreciate it if you would like our video and subscribe. It really helps us out if you subscribe. Today I'm going to show you uh, working with vehicle templates. Uh, it's kind of a beginner's tutorial on vehicle wrapping. Um, I'm going to show you how to work with some templates. So right now I'm just going to bring in a template go to file import and then just find your template wherever you it is okay so we're gonna bring in uh, Porsche okay first thing you want to do is make sure it's sized right okay this one here I know that I have to make this template proportional and I have to make it 2000% templates from it'll tell you on there exactly what percentage you have to do in order to get it right uh, as far as the size goes it'll say you know one tenth or whatnot and then you'll just go into flexi uh, grab the whole thing and then you'll go up here to design central and make sure you hit proportional and then put the put the percentage in okay so we're gonna work with right now we're gonna work with this Porsche uh, 911 okay First thing you want to do is when you get it and you're in proportion, okay, well I'm going to work on this side of the car here. You're going to grab the car, arrange, and you're going to ungroup it, okay. All right, now uh, we're going to put some flames on this car. Uh, pretty simple. I'm going to grab here, go over, okay, and then this here. type of fill we want to use on it um, you can just put a gradient on it if you wanted to let's just say a green and then we'll just put it back on top and that's it pretty easy okay uh, I want to change the color and I can go into my gradients and then go ahead and change the color of the core this green so you can see it a little better um, you can do it that way some people use that as the base you know whatever color uh, car they're gonna do some flames on this car front to back um, so basically what I'm going to do zoom out okay, I'm going to grab the car bring it back over here so you can see it and we'll just make it kind of okay I'm going to take this car and I'm going to have to bring in my flames so I'm going to file imported already have them set up okay there's the flames I'm bringing in so make that larger see exactly where you're at you can go up here and hit transparent and you'll see exactly where it's going to be you just can't mask it in transparent mode so I'm going to go with a little bit more flames on the car I'll be up in this area and I'm going to rotate the flame I'm going to go up here design central I'm going to flip the flames around so the flames fly black this and I'm going to clear the transparent lens and take the flames and it needs to be in the back so I'm going to go to arrange order and back I'm going to grab both of them hit effects mask hit this to do. Now 
once you're at this stage, you can go ahead and put whatever you want on here. symbol or we can put some stripes in here you don't have to worry too much about you know angling into the wheel wells what we would do is we would go past the wheel well like that because when we print it we'll just cut right along this mark here is the size okay if you get a template from uh, someplace else uh, not the templates that we use usually down here it'll tell you the dimensions uh, how many millimeters it is or inches or feet or whatnot you can get that right off the internet via the wheelbase and then what you could do is type in this wheelbase here make a line like this up to Design Central, type in the wheelbase, whatever the wheelbase is, and bring it down, see if it matches up. If it doesn't match up, just grab the whole car, cut the line, and then stretch that car. this line and this line in the wheelbase area and you should be good to go. We always recommend measuring the car anyway. Uh, the, these templates are usually pretty accurate but you want to always make sure. You know, We always leave a little bit extra printed a little wider. Um, in Flexi you can print, you can normally print at 100%. Um, you could just turn that up a little bit and it'll give you a little bit extra. Uh, you can do it that way. Uh, there's a couple different other ways you could do it. But this is the, is the basic on uh, vehicle wrap printing. Okay, and then you can take this. If we were all ready to go, you can take this one here and then you can print the whole image. Um, there's another way if you want to save on ink. You can put this back on here. Okay, and then you can take the windows and you can mask the windows out. If you decide you're going to take this here, we'll grab this, and then we'll grab the windows. And you don't want to print in the window area. Pick this up, and then we'll take the windows, black them out, or you can white them out. You can do it that way, or what you can do is you can click on black, highlight both of them, and then go to effects, weld, and then punch them out. Uh, you could do it that way. Um, it's easier just to grab the window, select the white, and then boom. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. This is just a basic overview. If you have something that you're just going to do maybe a color change to, um, you're not going to buy colored vinyl, uh, which you could just buy a solid color vinyl, or if you're going to print it, you, know, you want something a little bit different on the car, a little bit of a glow effect. Or you can make your own gradient, put your own gradient on it, and uh, you can wrap it this way. Also, put all your lettering or your sponsors on it or whatnot. Okay? Uh, thanks for watching this video. And appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, we're going to have a lot more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.